word, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Even now, as we are crossing, whatever that you are crossing, and wherever you are going to, he said, let us. He included himself in, in your journey of life. But secondly, which is very, very powerful, he said, let us cross cross over. And he never said, let's cross under. So that is so powerful that we are not getting under. We are crossing over. And I like that word that yeah. we are crossing over. Because we are above whatever that we meet on the way. Never allow yourself or think that you are under the situation. If you are with Jesus, you are crossing over. I, I wish you can take that into your spirit. That I am crossing over. I'm over. I'm over. I'm over. I'm over. I'm over. I'm over. Whatever that I come across, I am over. And I spoke about Bezalwane when, you know, as they were crossing over, they took the controls, they took the, st the steering wheel. And whenever you take control, he comes into the back and he sleeps. What a tragedy to have a sleeping Jesus in your life. Because when Jesus slept, then the storm arose. It simply means, Bazalwane, the storm were, uh, 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 were there. The storm. the storm was there. But it could not rise because Jesus was not sleeping. I wish you can touch, to, touch somebody and say, let Jesus wake up in your life. Let Jesus wake up in your endeavors. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. You know, it is tragedy to have a sleeping Jesus as you are crossing over. Because as you are crossing over, you know, and when he is sleeping as you are crossing over, then the storm is going to hit everything in your life. And it will begin to, 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 to fill up your life. But you know, Jesus was sleeping right there. And the storm that was so much uh, uh, troublesome to them. But to Jesus, never brought anything. He was sleeping while the boat was full of water. There is nothing that will ever shake the Lord. Then I spoke about, I still remember vividly, uh, I spoke about, you know, who is this? Uh, because even the storm and the sea obey. it does not say it hears him it says it obeys him when we talk about obedience it's more than hearing it is hearing and doing what you heard about in other words to the storm has, has to obey. I don't care what kind of the storm. But it will subside in your life in the name 
of Jesus. Because when Jesus open his mouth, whatever that is listening will obey. The storms and the sea just does what he says. It obeys. But I'm caught this morning by these words. Why are you fearful? And I think that is verse number, it's verse number uh, 40. Why are you fearful? Why you have no faith? So in other words here, it tells us from what Jesus is saying that if I see fear, it simply means that there is no faith. Because the unbelief is the absence of faith. Are you still with me, Bazalwa? But you know, there is something that I want to deal with. In fact, I've studied with it last week. Oh, that other week. Dealing with this thing of faith. I have seen that, you know, faith It's so dangerous. It can make you to be unsuccessful. Why having faith? But firstly, I want I want to deal with this thing of faith. If you look at it, you I said in the book of Hebrews, chapter number eleven, verse number one. I think what in my head, chapter number eleven. The Bible says, if I believe, faith is an assurance of things that we're hoping for. And being certain, being sure of the things that are unseen. When we have faith, they are becoming sin. You see, Basalwane, everything that we see was first, firstly unseen. We need another kind of power that will make things that are unseen to be seen in our lives. And that power is faith. It's faith. Faith is an assurance. And then we spoke that, you know, how do we have faith? How do we access faith? In the book, in the book of in, in, in the book of, of Romans chapter number chapter number 10. And verse number 17. Verse 17 it tells us that faith cometh from hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Come on, come on, I'm working here. There is something that I'm bringing, I'm pushing into the spirit. Faith comes from hearing the word of God. That tells me if you want to grow your faith, you need to keep on hearing the word. The word as it enters into your spirit, it makes your faith to grow. In other words, you, if, if your faith hasn't moved the mountains, you need more of the word. Come on, come on, church, more of the word will, will, will reveal, will make something that was unsaved in your life to be seen. I quoted one of the of my favorite scripture. That is Romans chapter number 10. Verse number 12. I think verse number 11 or 12. It says, it says, you know, they that have faith will never be disappointed. In other words, if you don't grow your faith, there will be a multitude of disappointments in your life. There, there will be a lot of shame. But faith 
Because if you have faith, you will never have shame. So now I want I want us to take, you know, how do we receive faith? So firstly is by the word of God. But secondly, but in the book of Ephesians, chapter number two. You know, when you look at the, the Ephesians chapter number two, are you are you following the scripture? So if you read the scripture, verse number one it says, and had he quickened who were dead in trespasses and in sin. It talks about Jesus who has the power to resurrect and quicken everything that was dead. Let me tell you, says, let me tell you, you know Jesus has all the power. He quickens. He resurrects because he has got all the power. Oh, I, I, wish, I wish you can catch that. He has the power. But you know, Baselwane, one of the things that is so uh, that is so tricky here. No, is so powerful. It needs the way you allow man to connect with the dark power. It needs the dark power. To allow man to connect with the very same power. And that power is faith. When you apply faith, he quickens and he resurrects. Oh, I wish, I wish you can, you can apply this faith because all the dead dreams, he will quicken them and he will resurrect them. All the visions that has faded, he will quicken them. And he will resurrect them. Everything that is there in your life, in your family, he has the power to quicken it and to resurrect it. In other words, when we come to him, we come to the one that has got all the power. Omnipotent God, unlimited power, unstoppable power. We are all in Him. When we come to Him, He quickens and He resurrects. He quickens and he resurrects. In other words, he's saying, He is the one that has quickened us and resurrected us. But you know when you come to verse number 8, there is something that I, I like the most there. Verse number 8 will say, will say like this. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh Jesus. In, in, in verse number 8 it says, For by grace we are saved through faith. In other words, salvation is impossible without faith. Faith is the power that connects to the to the money or to uh, how can I put this? <laughs> to the currency. That has bought your salvation. In other words, salvation was paid in full. You don't have to pay. But you have to have faith in order to access your salvation. What is salvation? It is regeneration. 
is regeneration of life. What is salvation? Is a total change of everything in your life. The renewing of your mind. The, re the writing of your name. In the Lamb's book of life. We are saved through faith. Faith saves. Faith saves. We are saved. Because of his grace. Through his faith. We were not saved by the church. There is no church that is so powerful. There is no church that is able to be But we are so saved. faith has allowed us yet again to access the things that we get by grace. By grace, we are saved. Just by grace in the seal. that we are saved. You see, I ain't call it the Bible when you start when you finish. No one should thank himself. There is no flesh that should show up it mean, I mean, I mean. and say, I, 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 I. We are wondering when we come to salvation. We are pale when you just finish your and him rose, man, the one who saw to quicken and resurrect. In other words, by faith, let, let him quicken and resurrect everything in your life. So now faith it helps us to access salvation. The forgiveness of sin. You know the writing of our names in the Lamb's book of life. By faith. By faith. You see, you see you know, when before he can he can calm the storm. He looks for faith. He does not calm the storm without faith. So faith is a necessity in the life of a Christian. This time that you are living in, it will expose you because it's a very terrible one. The one that you are living in, it will expose you. It will take brothers and take the nanwa inside the church. Where is your faith? Where is your faith? Why are you so fearful? But there is something that I like the most here. He said, where is your faith? And then when he saw their faith, he then acted. And he called the storm. It is so very hot. Okay, I'm going to tell you Let me... So now when, when, when Jesus is about to do something, he looks for faith. Let me tell you this, Pastor. In the book of Mark chapter number 10, there is a story from verse number 47. There is a man by the name of uh, Bartimaeus. Am I, am, I right? am I right? Yes. Bartimaeus. And Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus. Letting the Bible. The Bible says. He was sitting next to the road. Why is he in a sentinel? Sitting next to the road. Asking, begging. Because faith can change the beggar. The begging mentality is for the people without faith. That is why I don't go around begging. I go to God because there is so much power in God. But there is something about faith. 
You know faith. I, I know how it works. Like, like in the book of in the book of, of Matthew, chapter number 20, 21. Or 21. You know, is, is it 21 or 23? The Bible says it was in the week. Where Jesus was about to be crucified. In, in that Sunday. Jesus, Jesus entered. And, uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm mixing things now. The, the, the Bible says he came to Jericho. And he, as he was coming out, as a puma, the Bible says, a Bible little, but he has heard. But he may wear what was alone. Ah, come on, he did what. He heard. But he did you hear what the Bible said? That faith cometh by Uza. hearing. Uza. Now, but but me ask. Did what was the Lord? Heard. Though the devil has taken his eyes. But he made the biggest mistake of leaving his ears. Ah, but as long as I still have ears to take on the word of God, to, eat on the, to hear the word of God, the word of God is it's not like anything that I hear every day. When it comes, it goes to the heart and it will activate faith. And he heard that it was Jesus. Death was coming. And when he heard that, he started to shout. Oh, he had ears. And also he had my mouth. If you can hear, you can say something. In, in Matthew chapter number 21, the Bible says, Jesus cast the tree. When he cast the tree, they asked him. And then he said to them, If you have faith and never doubt, you will say to this mountain. In other words, if I hear the word, if I hear about the power of Jesus, if I hear about the authority of Jesus, it enters through my ear, but it goes into my heart and activate my faith. When my faith is activated, I start to shout. <laughs> I start to shout. Jesus! Jesus! Son of David, have mercy on me. I don't see, but I can hear that it is Jesus. And should I know that he has all the power to quicken and resurrect? When I shout, something is about to happen. I wish, I wish I can, I can declare it. If you see me shouting this, you must know that there is something I heard that can turn my life around. I have faith in Jesus. And he shouted until Jesus stops. And then Jesus said, call him. When, he, when they called him, the Bible says, he said, what do you want me to do for you? Because I have all the power. I can do whatever you can ask. I can perform whatever miracle. And what do you want me to do? This guy could have asked whatever. Whatever big or massive things, Jesus had the power to give it to him. But this guy said, Rabboni, 
that I may see. Rabboni. That I may see. He was saying, I came across some people and I asked for money from them because that is what they could give it to me. But when I'm standing upon the one before the one who has all the power, I must think before I ask. He says they can provide me because they have the, the eyes. What is it that is stopping me? It's just the eyes. So when I come to Jesus, I need to be wise and ask whatever nobody can give it to me. He has the power to give me what nobody can give it to me. Faith. And just through the ears. And then we start to confess and declare. And then faith will work. Faith will work. Now, now, as I'm closing now. Sengifala. You know when Jesus is speaking to these guys. I don't know if I have to say this. As you are sitting down. You know that God can do absolutely anything. What you can ask today. The atmosphere is right. His presence is so real. We are he can do whatever. And be no careful of such atmospheres. Because in these atmospheres, any kind of miracle can take place. When you know that Jesus is before you, you must know how to ask. Don't ask what the people can give it to you. But ask whatever that nobody can give it to you. But you must be wise as you ask. You know, I read one of the verses. And uh, you know, this verse is so, so, he's talking about, um, he's talking about the beast that he saw. The beast that he saw. Now, he's, he's saying, in, in the book of Ezekiel, chapter number one, chapter number one, he explains, the, from verse number four, he explains the beast. We are we are we as it cars and as born. He does not tell us whether it's an evil beast. No ma is Lonazimbi or the holy beast. No ma is in but to me. It seems like a holy beast. Are you still with me, Basalo? Well, good master speakers will win. When we go to heaven, any zinto abantu abano valo. So people that are so fearful. They were running from heaven and running away. There are beasts there. That are full of eyes all over the, the body. What will you do if you can dream? Seeing that beast full of eyes. Our soul can do it now. He said this piece. It was like a person. In Germany. A German. It has one eye. Anybody saw that? It had one eye. The way that piece was so scary. Imagine when we are fearful of one eye. How much more when all the eyes are full in front of the You don't catch me. You don't catch me. And then he told me. In Germany, they were fearful of one eye. That was in the center of the forehead. How much more? Full of eyes in front and then the When it look at you, you are being 
seen by many eyes. When that beast turns, it can be able to see you even when it's in the back. It's got all there are many eyes even on the other side. You see, Pastor Kukona, they, they will run out of heaven. Because of that. There are people that are so afraid. And their heart will beat much and much. And they start to shiver when they see something so scary. I preach up until the vibration of the because you know when people are afraid you know some will just fall never scare a person for a person will die in front of you there was this beast definitely it was evil but here he says in verse number 10, Ezekiel chapter number 1. Ezekiel chapter number 1. He says, This beast has got four faces. Do you know how? When I looked at that, I started to think face of a man, face of a donkey. Other translation, they are saying face, in, instead of the donkey, there's the face of an ox. But it's the same then. And the third face, the face of an eagle. The fourth face is the face of a lion. You know, I, I, I just thought, that you know, if you have faith, you must have all these faces. Are you still with me, Basalo? You see, there are decisions that you must take as a man. You know, things that, you know, I need to study. I need to improve myself. You see, I need to improve myself. Have a face of a man. Able to think and take some decisions. Faith your cause. No man faith yenkonyama. What can I mean and jengo moon? I as a Ushinja less a sim and go to change the situation. It's not a sin. To take a decision and improve yourself as a person. Are you still with me, Basalwa? If you feel that you are a person of heaven, go and learn to those people of anger and management. Don't wait the Holy Spirit to the Tell me when you learn this in tongue, you will be able to perform the deal with your anger. Deal with it as a man. Have a face of a man. I am closing. But another face is a face of a donkey or of an ox. The donkey, it symbolizes hard work. You know, before your faith taps you into the higher power. You must do the hard work. I don't know what causes the problem. But come on, by faith. To think that you must by faith, by faith. Work hard. It's time that we, we teach our young people to work hard. Power for hard work rises in the church. Of Jesus Christ. It's time that we stand and do and work very hard. Miracles will take place. But do hard work. Do hard work. I was speaking in in the workers uh, uh, meeting. Another pastor, uh, you know, wanted me to speak on Friday. And I said, you know, with us, the 
Christians, we have the problem to be the laziest people. We want the free gift thing. Ah, come on, come on. We want the things that are free. In fact, who's that to Paul? And Paul says, the one who does not work, ah. he must never be given anything to eat. Working, it must open your stomach. You see, you see, in Kulume, I've spoken and mentioned some pastors. You know, you see, you see, and, and, and spoke about pastors. I work with a lot of them. But others, they, they are lazy. They are doing nothing. You know, I'm going to say, in I our less, time, I say, not in your time, you will see them by wearing those sharp toys, those kick and pobos, wearing those long coats. They go to town <laughs> and <laughs> <until> <laughs> If you so meet, early a time, he will early ask lunch. at a time and ask the it's lunch. It's time. It's cut, man. That even us, pastors, we work very hard. As I'm standing here, Give me an angel, there are a lot of things that I'm doing out of the, 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 of the, of the, 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 the scope of the church. Because I have learned that hard work pays. Hard work pays. We are cooking. Chuluga. Sweat. Seven. Work. Work very hard. Seven. 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 We are tired of those trendsetters that are so. You give them food. They eat with those plates. Lazy people. By a villa, lazy people. Villa. Eat and take that plate ah, and wash it. If it's a girl that eat and live in it, who will that daughter be? I don't say I have to be <laughs> <that man. laughs> Ukalai pansela nje estanga na na. But wakuko no buga yonje no buga yube na pa. Shamba tese bambegi. Wait, maybe when she was caught somewhere. Atum shamba na ngumu singa wa. Maybe I'm going to be the house. So we look first. We look. Sit stand as a sibes bag. Come and look him. Yek zich. It's just jumping. Yek zich. What kind of a girl is this? No more lulu and tumba zane. We shall not die alone. This boy eating and went to sleep. Who will they marry? They could marry to those things that like to sleep too much. They don't want to work. You know. As if there are no wedding. Oh no, I'm saying just so few things. Is where sevens. They are come to raise the men that so few things don't be sevens. The daughters that will work. You know, you know the girls. They go to school. They work very hard. They get diplomas. They don't get degrees. But the boys. Have a fun. But you hang out with my tolly man. As wish they can get money. Go to school. Hamban is in college. That's why you are afraid of this ไม่อาวิลาพาไม่อาวิลาพาไม่อาวิลาพาไม่อาวิลาพาไม่อาวิลาพาไม่อาวิลาพาไม่อาวิลาพาไม่อาวิลาพาไม่อาวิลาพา
Rise and walk. Fugus Mabenze. Before. The person that he started by impregnating before he wed. Talking about those who are born again, they just went. Their problem. This one says, Yes. Let me just put a seed. For this girl has wet. I don't know how I got her. Let me just give her a chance. But listen to me, Basila. Work high. Seven is holy. Okay. Okay. Work hard. But the last and not the least. No. I I heard the face of an eagle. You know the eagle. We are not cozy. Has got an eye. Luna that can see the storm while it's still away. And uh, it can examine that this storm I cannot face. What it does, it fly over. So that the storm will go under. No, when you have to run away. We don't run away because of fear. He ran away because of the holiness. Not because he was afraid. Not because he was afraid. You must know when to run away. But another face. Says Valandota. While we are closing. In the I face start. of a lion. The lion. It looks at an elephant like this. And says it's so huge. It is powerful. But I am the lion. It knows its identity. That's the lion. It will start to roar while the elephant is still of her. Oh, it intimidates the enemy while it's still coming. When it sees that the elephant is coming, it starts to run around. The face of a lion that you know what is in the inside of you. The faith that is in the inside of you, it can take whatever that the devil is bringing. You are more than the way you look like. You are bigger in the inside. The Bible says, great is he that is within me. You need to roll out like a lion. I hear you thinking that you are finished it needs you to attend things as a person where you fail you attend things as a lion faith let me sit down like that Jesus said Jesus, what is? Where is your faith? Where is your faith? So now faith is seen. Ukola we abona galiso. It's visible. We abona gala. To Jesus. Who Jesus Christ to? Me nangi has faith here. I don't know your faith. And don't allow me to understand your faith. Ongang vume lugu benga zinkonde i faith here. Your faith. Ukola wako. Is only visible. We are born again and Jesus. To Jesus the King of Kings. Who Jesus who in course here makos. Lord of Lords and. Uh, Mighty one. 
He is. He can see everything. He can change your situation. He can understand. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You can come. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. we come to you. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. Si abonga mabuna manta, ogu fusa, ogu file yo si abonga una manta, ogu senzela. Even what we never know, it can be happening to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We having faith for the situations in our family. We having faith for our, our, our businesses. We're having faith for everything, our profession. No devil in hell can stop what God can do for us. In the name of Jesus. Oshababamosata. Liprosante kesiata. Rapaposata. Come on, lift your voice. Pray, pray. Oh! The walls are falling. Because of your faith, rip up a bossita. Yama Gazaya. We give you glory. We give you praise. Use our faith to change our situation. Use our faith to change our thinking. Use our faith to take us from any kind of peace in our And I release the blessing and your power, each and every one of us, 
I pray for miracles to take place in their lives. Oh, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. And the devil cannot stop this. He's so strong. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Chains are breaking. In the name of Jesus. Sicknesses are living. In the name of Jesus. sins. Quicken and resurrect everyone that is down by faith through your grace. Thank you Lord for the grace. Thank you Lord for your power. Come on Shaisanda and thank God. Hand of God Performing miracles. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I release the blessing. I release the power. I pray that this word will work on each and everyone's life throughout the week and let the results come because of their faith. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Because of their faith and what your power can produce. We thank you, Father. Because of their Father, I release this grace. The grace to prosper, the grace to overcome. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release this grace that will perform miracles in businesses, in their careers. Coming against them, let them be de de destroyed before their face. In the mighty name of Jesus, everything that has been held somewhere, their blessings, let them reach to their lives. Now, now, I have faith for the name of Jesus. It's so marvelous. It's so marvelous. Come on, some shy Lizanda is worthy of the praise. I want you to know if una was by faith go call anything go on can happen no my inning and may the Lord bless you Kulungulani busis may the Lord fight for you Kulungulani Luele may the Lord open his way for Kulungula Vulin Delaya Hallelujah We give God the glory God bless you Kulungulan Busis bless you Abasalayo those who are staying behind